Welcome back to All Shops, Great and Small. On today's episode, first thing we're going to do is check in with Andy Kohler um, and see how he made out at the race of gentlemen held on the beaches of Wildwood, New Jersey. Well, we're back with Andy Kohler uh, and the car is back and they had quite a weekend. It, it was a beautiful weekend weather-wise and they had a few problems, but it's a new car and they're getting sorted it out, sorted it out. And Andy's gonna tell us briefly about the weekend. Well, we had what we call a learning experience with this car. With being a fresh car that we were working on right up till the last minute, there was just a few things that we were able to take care of and a couple of things that we're gonna take care of for next time. Um, the car ran really strong, the engine, pulls really hard all the way through the entire torque curve. So we we're really happy about that. And when he could get on a decent surface, uh, Peter had really good luck. It, it, it went like a bullet. Unfortunately, the car settled quite a bit on the trailer being new springs and all, and it wound up being a little bit too low for the soft conditions down there. So he would get stuck at the end of the, the turnaround where the, where the return road was really soft and rugged. So, that was kind of disappointing and then we didn't want to really hold everything up, you know, waiting to get towed out of there. So um, we've got a few things to change. We're going to raise the overall ride height a little bit and, uh, and add a, a few things that we have discussed about, uh, you know, after the fact, seeing how the thing ran. And we'll be back next year. We're going to try and do some asphalt events too at drag strips with it because it really, really hooks up well on pavement too. So we'll, we'll have fun with it. I have a better understanding now of why so many of those cars sat so high. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they get hung up easy in that soft sand. You're good down near the water, but boy, once you get up in the soft stuff. Exactly, yeah. And it, it's difficult to tell how it's going to be. Some years it's really hard and flat everywhere. And in that case, we probably would have had a lot better luck with this thing, especially getting out off the line. Uh, but like I said, we're going to raise it up just a touch, you know, here and there and get it up to a, a height that works better for that. We're gonna put some adjustable jacker bolts in there so that we can lower it back down when needed or, or raise it depending on the conditions. So horsepower was not the problem. Oh, it never is. I mean, it's always nice to have plenty of power and that does help if you can put it to the same. Hook it up. Uh, yep. Well, I'm gonna let you go, Andy, and I look forward to next year because uh, like everything else in life, Better days ahead. You got it. All right. Thanks. Thank you. Yep. Our next stop will be uh, down at, at St. Michael's uh, on the Chesapeake Bay. Uh, we're going to stop in and, and see the uh, Maritime Museum there. Uh, we're going to visit uh, with the shops there. And uh, interesting concept. They charge you down there to teach you how to use a, a wood rasp and a bandsaw. And then they have you making pieces for the ship they're building. Interesting concept. We've arrived at the uh, Chesapeake Bay Maritime Museum with uh, my two traveling companions and Silver Flash 1 and 2. You can buy a ticket here and they will teach you how to make a pulley. It's a fishing shanty for out on the Chesapeake Bay. All shops, great and small. during the War of 1812. Well, those, uh, you know, it's actually... A working ship shop. We have a whole bunch of live edge wood here for Raphael Cologne and Woodrich.
that's a bell ringing machine. It had to be wound up every two hours when the fog was in. All kinds of projects here. That's a very serious bandsaw there. And that would be the uh, mousetrap they use around here. Laying up the keel. I had really hoped to get a picture of a guy building the models in there, but uh, it's Saturday and I, I probably should be here during the week. This looks like uh, the room where they make the sales. At least sales for the models. I don't think you're allowed to play on the sewing machines. You may notice a call out to Rafael Colon who has uh, Woodrich Company, they, they do live edge, uh, huge pieces of uh, wood to make uh, tables and desks and things. Well, uh, they had a big pile of that wood down there. Uh, they use it for cutting out pieces for the hull on, on some of these ships they're building. Speaking of Raphael, he's going to be our next uh, stop for our next episode. Uh, we hope to catch up with him when he's cutting some, some big wide stuff and planing it. Uh, he, he makes some beautiful furniture out of it. So until then, uh, please like us on YouTube under Robert Logue or All Shops Great and Small. And until next time, just remember, All Shops Great and Small.